Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. Uh, I've been given the whole range of those tarantula room cylinders, squares, enclosures to review. Now these are now being stocked by the spider shop in the UK and also tarantula room. But I'm going to do a very, very quick kind of uh, review now, but um, go across in a couple of days and have a look at my full review on the Spoiler Shop uh, YouTube channel, so subscribe to that. Um, so, so uh, I just want to say as well, this may look like paid promotion, but it's actually not. Um, I've got to give all this stuff back. So uh, I'm literally having them, setting them up, um, putting some animals in them for um, a few days at least, and then giving them back to the spider shop. So uh, I wanted to keep them, but um, unfortunately I can't. So I've set up three quickly, um, just the different ones, right? So you can, you know, you've got a cylinder, right? They're all gonna be almost exactly the same over uh, the other whole range. So you've got from this size, which is the smallest one available in the, in the, in the cylinder ones, to this, which is the largest one. And I've set this one up like a um, uh, rainforest type, jungly type type one. And uh, I'll show a B-roll of the inside of the tank and stuff. But the, the, I have to say, right, that these are a massive improvement to the uh, the ones that have been being sold on uh, the spider shop in the past. Uh, for a couple of reasons uh, straight away. The build quality, right, is much, much better. The vent at the top, the old ones, right, they were just plain kind of metal and they would, if you kept it very, very humid, they would rust. These don't rust. Very, very swish and I really like this. is that the lids now, instead of having little turny things, which I didn't really like, because I bent them on uh, that one in the background there, I bent them, but listen. I want to put this uh, just for you to see. Uh, where's that one? That's the one. They're all the same, exactly the same. You can see these have been, uh, these have actually been used, but. Right, lid off, it's on, it's on my knees, right? I love this, and I'm just holding it lightly. Look at that. That is well cool. Now, these ones, right, the square ones, are really super easy, easily stackable. Look at that, you know. And they come, this is the larger square one here, and they come smaller all the way to this size, which is super cute, isn't it? Let's be honest. I'm really, really impressed with this. And I am bugging Lee all the time. I, you see my laptop in the back there. I've been messaging him all day, all morning, saying, are you sure I've got to give these back? Are you sure I've got to give these back? Can I keep these? Can I keep them? <laughs> Look at that. I love it. Pokies, uh, so Possothera species, absolutely fine in any of the taller ones, I would say. Uh, well, absolutely any of them, but the taller ones are more uh, suited to it. You've got to remember as well, guys, right? Don't be, don't be fucking retards uh, and leave the inside plastic on, right? So many people, they come double lined, so the outside is lined with plastic and the inside is lined with plastic. Just peel them both off, otherwise it's not crystal clear like that. It'll look like it's all scratchy and shit. And like loads and loads of people have been like messaging, uh, messaging saying, oh, I need to return this because it's all busted up. It's not busted up at all, it's protected. This one I've set up like a desert enclosure. I'm gonna put a scorpion into that one today. This one, uh, this is a jungle type rainforesty enclosure. I'm going to put a small um, theraposa into this one. Now, the reason I want to put a small theraposa into this one, right, is I need to check. Uh, I want to give you an honest review, and I want to check 
the strength of these of these magnets. Right? 99% of spoilers, right? And I haven't put anything in here, and I've not i not used them at all. So 99% of spoilers, I think, would be absolutely fine in, the, in these. But the really super strong ones, like um, Theraposa or like Haplopelmus, you know, Sophagyrus uh, dorii, or uh, Pelinobius muticus, which is a king baboon. I I got the feeling they'd be able to push that push that open, I'm not sure. Obviously if you're stacking them you don't have the problem. But uh, yeah, I, I'm absolutely loving them so far. So as a this is an initial one, obviously I'll do an update video next week on how I got on, but as an initial um, impression of how these 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 are. I'm really quite impressed, so I give them like a 9 out of 10. The only reason I don't give them a 10 out of 10 is I want to check that. And that is, uh, and I'll let you know. How cool is that though? Isn't this, I've got, just, my whole living room is just filled with these enclosures and all I'm going to do, be doing today is setting all these up. Quick note at the end of this, uh, thank you to all uh, the people who watch my videos. You're the, the guys who keep the lights on uh, in the spider room, not you. And uh, you know, if you even if you want to help out even more, uh, buy a range of our of our merch. Uh, the website is www.arachnotube.com forward slash merch, uh, and there's all kinds of uh, t-shirts on there. The Arachnotube section would just be my logos and stuff, and then there's the legal and sustainable section, which I'm going to be doing a lot more with. And big news about that coming up with a. Um, not a collaboration so far as a YouTuber, but with an actual, um, well, I can't say much more, but it's really, really super exciting. Uh, there's a Patreon page if you do want to support us, but please uh, hit that subscribe button for me. Hit that subscribe button for the Spider Shop UK and uh, stay woke meat sacks. Take care.